In this video, I'll show a 3D model created from a video downloaded from YouTube. This is a 5 second clip of a video created by Skydio flying their Skydio 2 drone through their headquarters. It was the source of data for all of this modeling. The video is available on the Skydio channel on YouTube. Here we see a dollhouse animation of the flight track and the 3D model that was created from that video. The process used to do this was to play the video on my computer from YouTube while capturing it with software from NVIDIA called the GeForce Experience. That video was captured and then FFmpeg was used to extract frames at four frames per second from that video. I then reviewed those frames, pulled out those frames that were duplicates, and then I input those into Agisoft Metashape. Agisoft took all those frames, figured out where the camera positions were in an aligned photos step, and then a mesh was built. Finally, a textured model was created by projecting the photos back onto that. Now this video capture was done using just HD quality because that's the quality of the monitor that I had in the system. This could be done again using 4K monitor capture and the quality of this model may be better. Anyway, the flight track is highlighted so it's shown in pink and you can see the amazing flight piloting that's done to fly this drone through the headquarters building. I did hide some of the mesh that was the ceiling area so you could better see the flight track itself. In a moment, we'll take this model and visualize it in something called Nira.app, which is an online resource for visualizing 3D models. We've switched now to visualizing a Nira.app. I asked my son Caleb, who is good at gaming, to go ahead and try to fly through this space. So this is the full 3D model, and he is flying around using characters on the keyboard and the mouse to turn. He'd only had about two minutes of experience in just playing with the interface to try to fly through this space. But as you can see, um, he did a pretty good job. You can fly through the model in any place you'd like. Of course, the quality of that model uh, at any point will depend on how much imagery was collected in that area. Modeling areas indoors is usually very challenging, as it was here, because there's lots of surfaces with very little texture, and photogrammetry needs texture to be able to find feature points for the correspondence to extract the depth which is a critical step in building that 3D model. Therefore, you can see things like the Skydio sign that have big patches uh, are missing sections. Again, the quality of this would be improved if the capture was done in 4K rather than at uh, just HD 1080p resolution. Uh, despite this, um, it's really quite amazing that you can effectively take an online video, download it, do a bunch of processing on it and build the environment itself and then place yourself in that environment and be able to navigate through it. I'll add here for clarity that Skydio's video on their YouTube channel is in 4K. I just extracted the video on my computer from YouTube in 1080p resolution. As we go along here um, and I was watching my son fly through, I asked him to try to fly with various increasing levels of difficulty. So uh, he's navigating through um, all kinds of places here. Uh, in a minute, I'll ask him to go ahead and fly down low through uh, the aisleways as best that he can. Um, and then he will eventually go also and do some of the great tricks like FPV pilots can do which is fly through small sections. 
So that'll be upcoming in a minute. At this point, I asked him to go and fly around the pilot here. Uh, what great skill he had to fly the Skydio through this environment. Um, he sat quite still during this video, so he came out pretty, pretty nice in the video and in the model. It's interesting that the netting above the outside area was all captured in the model. I don't think that this is used, uh, this site, by Skydio anymore. I think that they've moved their headquarters to San Mateo. I'll add I did ask Skydio if it was okay to use the video um, from their YouTube channel for doing this this content. I built the model myself, but then asked permission before I'm sharing this on YouTube, and they granted permission for me to use it. So here we're getting into the area where I asked uh, my son Caleb to go and fly lower through a lot of these sections. Um, and you'll see that uh, in very little time, uh, his skill level got pretty good at being able to fly around without flying through objects. It was interesting, at the end of this video, I asked my son if he felt like he'd been to this place, and he said that, that yes, indeed, he, he did feel like he had been there. Here we go, we're going to fly through this ladder, which is a pretty cool kind of FPV-style flight, and in between these banners, down some of the aisleways, And finally, one of my favorites, fly under the desk here. Here we go. So this corner, there was very little imagery, so the quality is quite low. But as we come back to the front here, some of these cabinets and things, there's a lot more imagery, so it's uh, better in the model. So if an actual mapping mission were done, where better coverage of every section of this area was performed with the initial video, the quality would be better. Uh, here there's a bunch of Skydio models here, mock-ups it looks like, uh, mounted on this I-beam, and the quality is pretty low. But it's still just amazing what you can get from uh, just an online video. Well, that'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching.